Hi guys, Mrs. Schleifs here. Welcome back. I am so happy to see you, my friends. Now, if you were at school today, this is what I would look like. And occasionally my glasses fog up with it too. It's kind of a pain, but it's what we have to do to stay safe right now. But since you're at home and there's no chance that I could pass Corona to you, I am gonna take this off and we're gonna read a book. All right, so the book I've chosen today is called How I Spent My Summer Vacation by Mark Teague. We have the cover of our book. We have the spine of our book. We open it up. This book actually belongs to me. So it says, this book belongs to Mrs. Schleiss. We also have our title page over here. We have the title of our book, How I Spent My Summer Vacation, written and illustrated by Mark Teague. Over here, we have our dedication page. It says for Rebecca, Jerry, and Mark. So Mark Teague dedicated this book to Rebecca, Jerry, and Mark. How I Spent My Summer Vacation by Wallace Bluff. When summer began, I headed out west. My parents had told me I needed a rest. Your imagination, they said, is getting too wild. I'll do you some good to relax for a while. So they put me on aboard a westbound train. Hmm. To visit Aunt Fern in her house on the plains. See Aunt Fern's house? There it is. But I was captured by cowboys, a wild looking crowd. Their manners were rough and their voices were loud. Uh oh. I'm trying to get to my aunt's house, I said, but they carried me off to their cow camp instead. The cattle boss growled as he told me to sit. We need a cowboy, our old cowboy quit. We could sure use your help, so what do you say? I thought for a moment then told him, okay. I wrote to Aunt Fern so she'd know where I'd gone. I said not to worry, I wouldn't be long. Dear Aunt, captured by cowboys, don't worry. See you soon, love, Wallace. That night, I was given a new set of clothes. Soon I looked like a wrangler from my head to my toes. But there's more to a cowboy than boots and a hat. I found out the next day and the day after that. Mm. Each day I discovered some new cowboy trick from roping and riding and making fire with sticks. Slowly the word spread all over the land that Wrangler Kid Bluff is a first-rate cow hand. The day finally came when the roundup was through. Aunt Fern called, come on over, bring your cowboys with you too. So I was cooking a barbecue that very same day, so we cleaned up a little and hurried her way. The food was delicious, there was plenty to eat, and the band that was playing just couldn't be beat. But suddenly we noticed a terrible sight. The cattle were stirring and stamping with fright. It's a scene I'll remember through the very last day. They're gonna stampede, I heard someone say. Just then they came charging. They charged right at me. They looked for, I looked for a hiding place, a rock or a tree. When I found a little tablecloth spread out on the ground, so I turned like a matador and spun it around. It was a new kind of cowboying, a fantastic display. The cattle were frightened and stampeded away. The cowboys all cheered, bluff's a true buckaroo. They shook my hand and slapped my back. And Aunt Fern hugged me too. And that's how I spent my summer vacation. 
I can hardly wait for show and tell. And there's the back of our book. So that was a great book. Pretty excited to share it with you. I don't know what you guys did over your summer vacation, but I surely did not do that. But it sounds like a lot of fun. So look forward to reading with you next week. Hope you're having a great week, your first week back, and I'll see you soon. Bye friends.